Television Dude here. Today we're going to play NHL 94. And I thought to myself, why just play the Genesis version, which I also own? Why not play the Sega CD version and listen to that great voice acting and voice work they did for this game? The only major difference between the two versions is that uh, there's no cutscene like this at the beginning of the Genesis version. And there's no great voice acting. But the gameplay itself is identical. Sure, the full motion video could have been better. It's kind of grainy, but that's the sake of CD for you. Either you like it or you don't. This might end up being two parts, because by the time I get to this intro and get through the uh, the guy telling uh, uh doing like the uh, the explaining each team and everything, we'll, we'll be halfway through ten minutes. This is one of the better Sega CD games out there. Manual control for the, uh, well, auto control for the goalies. Penalties off. Line changes off. We don't want no rules. We want old-fashioned crush em hockey. Team one is me. Of course, I'm going to be the Detroit Red Wings, since that's where I'm from. That's my favorite team of all time. Now, uh, who should I pick as the uh, Canadian team to, to please my Canadian fans? Who do you guys like better, the Maple Leafs? The, uh, the Montreal Canadiens? I don't know. Toronto Maple Leafs. We'll be the pick the maple leaves I guess. I don't know where you guys are from. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ron Barr for EA Sports. Welcome to a sold out Joe Lewis Arena, home of the Detroit Red Wings. Let's take a look at tonight's matchups. With newly appointed Scotty Bowman at the helm, the Detroit Red Wings should soar in the 1993-94 season. Rich in talent at all positions, the Red Wings possess the NHL's top offense. With a lineup that includes quality checkers, scoring power, and a two-way defense, Detroit should challenge for the Stanley Cup. The Toronto Maple Leafs are a hard-working and gutsy team that matches up well with any team in the league. They rely on close checking and great goaltending to get the job done. The Maple Leafs play a consistent game which often disrupts their opponent's style of play. Stevie Wonder is a tireless worker with stunning playmaking skills. Iserman is a finesse player who tears through traffic. He can find the open man with an accurate pass or both the twine himself with a well-placed shot. So use him in all situations, including penalty killing, where he tied for the NHL lead with seven shorthanded goals in 1992-93. Doug is the heart and soul of the Maple Leafs because of his great playmaking and gritty effort every game. In 1993, he set a team record with 127 points and was the winner of the Selkie Award as the best checking forward in the league. Put Doug in the middle of the action at both ends of the ice. Sergei Fedorov is a player most NHL coaches would covet to have on their roster. 
The two-way center has solid defensive skills to complement a whirlwind of offensive capability. A consistent 30-plus goal man, Fedorov is great in every situation. He has tremendous moves and is exceptional with the puck. Dave is a goal-scoring machine who is almost impossible to check. He scored a career-high 54 goals in 1992-93, including a league-high 32 on the power play. Dave uses his gigantic reach to score from almost impossible angles. So get him in the slot and goals will follow. Full of intensity, Dino Cicerelli is a skilled right winger with an act for scoring. He led the wings with 21 power play goals last season. Give Dino a shift whenever a goal is needed and have Iserman set him up for an accurate one-timer. Nikolai is a tricky little sniper who nailed 34 goals during his rookie season in 1992-93. He was knocked around a lot but kept getting up to score goals. Nikolai finds the open ice with his dazzling moves, so use him with different line mates and give him plenty of time on the power play. Steve Chasen is a rugged rear guard known for his board checking. He's also emerging as an offensive weapon, scoring 12 goals and adding 50 assists to trail only Paul Coffey in defensive scoring last season. Chasen is a durable blue liner who is reliable at all times. Dave is a good rushing defenseman who could also play the man effectively. He's notched over 400 career points in nine NHL seasons. Ellett passes well to forwards heading up ice and has a good low shot from the point. Give Dave tons of ice time and use him in all types of situations. Paul Coffey is a terrific defenseman who can jump up into the play and become a fourth forward. Last season he finished second overall in defensive scoring with 12 goals and 75 points. One of the finest skaters and stick handlers in the game, the Speedy Coffee is a natural at rushing the puck end to end. Todd is a scrappy character who has nine years of big league experience. He's a good skater who is hard to knock off balance. Todd doesn't back down from anyone, so use him to clear the net and get the puck out of the zone. Tim Shevelday has proven to be a most durable protector of the cage having played in 65 or more games each of the last three years. Chevy has a career-high four shutouts in 1993 and plays fourth in goaltender wins with 34. Shevel Day is rock solid and a quality choice between the pipes. Felix made a habit of making unbelievable saves during his rookie season in 1993. He was runner-up in the voting for the Calder Trophy as the NHL's top rookie. Felix has awesome quickness and remains cool under pressure. Use him as much as possible. He'll keep it close, even in wide-open games. Hit the start button to begin. All right. Did you like that? That's probably the one of the best things about about this version of the game. I've actually uh, forgotten uh, the controls. I don't think they're in here, but it's just A, B, and C. I'm sure I'll figure it out here. Let's see here.